Go to pristinejerseys.com to get NBA jerseys at a fraction of the price compared to the NBA store. They have historic shorts, jerseys, current NBA jerseys, football jerseys, and more. Link is in the description. Go check them out. If you want to buy or sell a Stack 2K22 account or get your badges and overall grinded up, go hit up my boy Gamer the Plug on Instagram or Twitter. He has over 5,000 vouchers. Links are in the description. Welcome back, Plug Nation. Today, we've done it. If you've seen yesterday's video, 2K must have listened because they dropped a patch early this morning and it might have just done it. Everything I talked about in yesterday's video, why are we not getting an update? Why is 2K dropping patches without patch notes? Well, they dropped a tweet today and they said our latest patch is live on PS5 and Xbox Series X S with many fixes and improvements. Read the detailed notes here. That's what we like to see, 2K. You know that I give you W's when they are presented. I'm always honest with you guys and myself, and you've done it, okay? That's what we've been wanting. A detailed description of what was put into the patch, what you guys changed with the game, not just various other fixes, and then we move on with our day. We wanna know what we're downloading onto our console. I don't care if you have to change someone's tattoo and that's it, or move it to their leg, to their arm, just tell us, all right? So into the patch notes though, we have, from 2K themselves, on the link, patch 1.5, additional stability improvements in an ongoing effort to improve your user experience, fix an issue that was causing city slash rec slash pro -M slash w online games to disconnect either before the game started or at the conclusion of the game, address an error code issue that was preventing specific my career saves from being able to load into the city, significantly improve loading speed when re-entering the city from a building interior apartment rec pro m event center etc look at that it can all be so easy 2k can we get a like on this video if you guys haven't yet they listened i love it you guys know i'm going to be a hundred percent honest if 2k is doing things that deserve an l they're gonna do things that i'm gonna say are an l but if they do great things i have to give them props at the same time and i like what they're doing this year i hope we can keep this up i hope if there's more game breaking issues whatever they are addressed in patches and you tell us that hey this patch is coming this is what's in the patch that's all we need to know we just want to be updated all right anyway into the next one though there's a lot improved frame rate when navigating the city on the xbox series x console traditional broadcast cameras are now available for use in the my nba once again fix an issue that resulted in some my nba online saves to overwrite other pre-existing saves gym rat and on-court coach badges are now correctly being applied to all badge loadouts increase the velocity required before a player jumps slash falls into or over the first row of the crowd via momentum dj booths will no longer allow for tipping when in the proximity of a quest npc so I literally talked about it in my video yesterday. I said, when I get on, something that's so annoying is that I'm just skateboarding through the park. I have the Xbox Series X. I have a, you know, it's the number one spec console or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the newest one. It's the most expensive Xbox. And yet I'm still chopping frames every single like 10, 20 seconds. I'm going through the park. Well, they fixed it. I got on today. I tried it out myself and I did not get one single chop. So 2K, great job. Let's keep this up. Can we please form a great relationship between not only me and you guys, but the community as well. Let's fix the game when there's issues. Let's have detailed patch notes. This is all we want, 2K. I love it. All right, keep doing it. Anyway, general notes, additional stability improvements in an ongoing effort to improve your user experience. Fixed issues where some users were unable to progress in select My Career storylines. The Gatorade Private Courts Reservation menu will now reliably display your friends list. Fixed just prior to this patch, users should have already noted improved responsiveness on squad invites and newly improved performance in rec slash pro-am experiences. So what I want you guys to do when you try it out, or if you've already tried it out, please let me know, are you still getting error codes on the game? Is Pro-Am working? I have not tried Pro-Am 5v5 yet. I know that I didn't mention in yesterday's video, but I tried it three, four, five times on last gen and not one time did it actually load. Like we got into the ready up and it was searching and it never gave us an opponent. So we had to quit out our game 
and restart it. So another thing that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video on last gen is the elevators are broken right now for some reason. There's like multiple places you can't go to. You can still go to them like the stage and the place to spin your wheel, but you have to like do it three, four or five times usually for you to be able to enter it. It just gives you an error code over and over until it finally lets you in. So 2K, not sure what's going on there, but let's get that fixed as well. And then you know what? I don't really have much more to complain about. You know what I'm saying? Even though they weren't really complaints in the first place, I was honestly voicing your guys' opinion because I haven't really been on Next Gen a lot yet. As I told you guys, I played about 10, 15 games on someone else's account that's already got a build kind of grinded out because I wanted to just hop on and try it out and experience the game. Well, I will tell you, steals are definitely overpowered, but don't get too mad just yet if you don't feel that way. Steals are overpowered on Next Gen in a way that doesn't make sense, all right? So, for example, I'm playing next gen and I'm running down the court. The ball is in my left hand. A lockdown comes from the right side. He's on my right hip. He hits X or square on PlayStation and my guy acts like he just randomly broke both of his hands and cannot hold the ball anymore, you know what I'm saying? He just drops it right away. He cannot hold the ball. He forgot how to dribble the basketball versus and it's the same way for me as well, you know, when I have the ball, but let's just go to where I'm on defense. You guys know if you watch my gameplays, I love defense this year. I love getting those bump steals. I know that people are just trying to left, right this year. That's what people do. It's just left, right, left, right, left, right. I try to switch it up when I'm dribbling. But anyway, I know, I can almost know when they're going to do it behind the back. I'm on next gen. I played, you know, like 10 to 15 games, like I said. I know this guy's about to do it behind the back, and it happened every single time. I time it perfectly. I'm standing there. The ball goes through my body, which is an old glitch called the yo-yo that's been in multiple 2Ks where you dribble literally through some someone's body and it just like glitches back into their hands. So what I'm saying is steals that don't make sense need to be patched and they need to change it to where IQ and good defense gives you that steal pretty much every single time. You know what I'm saying? So they need to fix what is not making sense and give it back to the people that are actually playing good defense and give them steals on things that make sense. Like when someone does a crossover and then you go straight in for the reach, then that should give you the steal. You know what I'm saying? When you do it correctly, when you have a high steal rating, when they maybe they don't have Hall of Fame Unpluckable, which is something I talked about as well, or Gold Unpluckable that I don't agree with. I don't understand why you have to make a build five foot nine or five foot ten on next gen just to get Hall of Fame Unpluckable. I really feel like they should change that. But once again, we're stuck in a dilemma like last year where they changed the ball handling from 85 to 80 to get the pro dribble moves, which is a good thing. I want to go ahead and say that it is a good thing that they did that. It brought more diversity in the game. You were able to use more builds now. You can get the pro dribble moves before having 85 ball handling. Now you can get it 80. So, you know, bigger builds can do a little bit more dribbling and stuff like that. But that was like three, four months into the game. It should have came out like that. And now people that made their builds like that made those for a reason and now they have to make new builds or they want to make new builds because the re the reason why they made their build doesn't really make sense anymore you know what i'm saying they made it to where it just gets to 85 or gets to 85 right away so they don't have to grind it out stuff like that well people made five foot nine five foot ten play shots stuff like that so they can get hall of fame unpluckable and now if they change it it's just gonna be like well i sat here and i grinded out this build and i wasted my money on something that 2k just changed a month or two into the game so it's another dilemma that we're forced with but i honestly have no idea mike wing why you made this decision where you have to be five foot nine five foot ten to have a hall of fame unpluckable especially with how good stealing is on 2k22 next gen i'm not like super complaining i'm just being extremely honest with you guys i don't get it maybe you guys can explain it to me in the comment section down below but nadex tweeted out and he said current gen still didn't get patched now that's toughy okay so i'm not sure exactly what he means by that but i did say like how the elevators are broken and uh there is still delay on the game from time to time but i have not been experiencing that delay in three to four days now that i've been telling you guys about another thing though is my friend is still and there was someone in my stream last night telling me i stream on facebook every day at badge plug you know most of you guys know that but he was telling me that he joins people's invites and every single time it puts him in the middle of the ocean just like on 2k21 next gen where it would put you in the middle of the event center and you were just in this random body of water and you could never get out you had to like you know quit out your game and stuff like that so there's still issues on both games although 2k has done great things today i like it 2k I like the way that we're going. I just hope, I really hope that this is not some 
first, second week, you know, first month uh, for good reviews. We're going to fix the game for people to be happy type of thing. I hope that if there's an issue and there's going to be issues that come up, they're fixed. It's not just like, oh, we're sorry, we're two months into the game. We can't fix it anymore. We're already on to the next game type of thing, which they've kind of got a reputation for, you know what I'm saying? So 2K, I hope we can change that. I hope we can all form a good relationship because right now, I like 2K22 last gen. I haven't played next gen enough because of all the errors and stuff that were going on to give it a honest review yet, although I did like when I played. It's just that every other game, you know, I was, of course, trying to test out the steals just to, you know, see how bad it really was. Uh, I was grading out people every other game. Like, they were getting an F teammate grade and getting kicked out of the game literally pretty much just because I was getting seven, eight steals on them a game. So that does probably need to be toned down a little bit. Make them make sense. That's what matters. Anyway, it's your boy Batch Plug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out. Peace. Also, leave your opinions down below. If you're still having errors, all that stuff, I read every single comment, literally every single one. I'm telling you, and I'm out. Peace.